Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21 today. God says, Evil pursues sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Evil pursues sinners, and it pursues them by pulling them towards them. Evil pursues sinners by enticing and pulling people toward that sin. And the pull of sin is so strong that people will pursue it, even if it results in physical problems or a bad reputation or sometimes the loss of family and possessions, sometimes the loss of life, and certainly, without a doubt, the loss of their soul if they don't repent. They pursue it anyway, in spite of all these things. That's how strong the pull of sin is. But God warns us about it in advance. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then he goes on to say in verse 21, But to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Why would you choose death and trouble when you can choose what is right and blessing? God will reward the righteous for sure in eternity, if not before. 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Don't misrepresent or misinterpret, I should say, this verse and put words in God's mouth because God is not saying that if you are wealthy, then that is because you are godly. Back in Old Testament days, when God was dealing with the nation Israel as his people, then yes, Material blessings were absolutely a sign of God's favor. They were a sign that Israel had been obedient to God. Because God said if they were obedient, their crops would be great. They would be very fruitful. They would multiply. Everything would just be wonderful. They would be protected from their enemies. All earthly blessings were promised to Israel if they would obey He would bless them materially if they obeyed him spiritually. Prosperous times meant that people were living for God. It's not that way today. For Christians, it's not. Today, God has not promised those sorts of things to obedient Christians. Today, if you are saved and if you are living for Jesus... You may not be able to leave a rich material inheritance to your children. But you can leave a rich spiritual inheritance to them. And you know, that's even better. And so he says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The riches that wicked men get are laid up for the purposes of God and for good men. And we'll stop right there for today. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break, you can be by praying for me and God's Word that immediately makes you a part of this ministry. And believe me, I'd appreciate it very much. And also, you can study all of God's Word with me, as you probably know, at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, found at thebibleversebyverse.com. There are four completed series, going on five, going through every single verse of the Bible, Genesis through Revelation. Choose, click, and listen, and study God's Word with me. And when you take a break from studying, you can go to the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. Click the donate button and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead because that also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, so long.